Hey guys, this afternoon I'm going to forage for some uh, wild spinach in my garden. <laughs> I have a lot of um, wild edibles in my garden. So, like I showed last time in my uh, previous videos, I, uh, I have these uh, uh, lamb squatters or goose foot in my garden and some uh, uh, amaranth, like this one. I've been eating them, but look. I still have a lot to harvest right there. These are really good. It's tasty. Tastier than uh, the regular spinach that we buy from the store. So I'm going to uh, pick some leaves, large leaves, so I can cook for my lunch. I'd like to eat it with my, uh, you know, with my lunch. This will be my vegetables. So I'm going to do this. That one there. Get some um, amaranth. Oh, these are good. <laughs> Look, it's bare because I've been eating the leaves. <laughs> really good. It has some side shoots coming though. Look, guys, these are really good to eat. So, I'm going around my garden to, uh, to uh, uh, gather some wild spinach okay guys these are the amaranth that I uh, planted before I transplanted look how big they are now and uh, I've been eating the leaves <laughs> look at this see I cut those from the other day because I ate them and uh, today I'm going to gather more of the leaves here it's about to uh, bloom look at this it's about to flower there it will still flower even after i uh, pick some of the leaves oh these are really tasty guys it's better than uh, to me it tastes better than the regular spinach that i buy from the market yummy 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 oh i have a lot of i have a lot of um wild foods in my garden guys <laughs> see this beautiful so i'm going to gather these about uh, enough leaves and then uh, go cook in my in the house go inside and cook it and have lunch oh beautiful okay let me uh, keep picking the leaves and then I'll show you how much I gather guys look how big uh, I mean how how much the uh, porcelain spread out so I have a lot I've been gathering them because I've been eating and making my salad, personal salad, is really, really good. Yummy! And here, I'm on my last batch. I'm picking some um, uh, lamb squatters leaves to cook for uh, to cook for lunch. See here, this is gonna flower, but I can eat some leaves. I'm gonna have some leaves. These are huge. See how tall? See how tall it is? Guys, okay, let me uh, get going. Last one, guys. <laughs> See this? Last one to harvest. Okay. I've been uh, just gathering the, uh, just the larger leaves ones. But oh my gosh. I'm... You might call me crazy, right, for doing this, but I'm telling you guys, it's so delicious. It's tastier than the spinach that I buy from the store. So, every summertime, I have all these uh, voluntary uh, wild vegetables that grow in my garden, and I eat them. <laughs> so... Okay guys, so I'm going inside and show you how I'm going to cook it later. Okay guys, this is what I gathered. Look, it's a, a lot, right? So I have, I'm going to mix up um, uh, lamb squatters and some amaranth. Uh, yeah, amaranth leaves. Beautiful, look at this. 
they are yummy so let me go clean it i i think when i cook this i'll have like uh it will give me like a cup you know how it wilts down when you cook it so let me uh clean it first and then show you how i'm going to uh cook it okay guys let's cook this wild spinach that i gathered from my garden okay first let's put some oil I always use olive, um, extra virgin olive oil because that's the oil that I like. Okay. And then I like to put some ginger. Ginger is optional, guys. If you don't like ginger, then use ginger. Saute for a while. Add your garlic. This garlic are from the garden. These are the garlic that I planted. I just harvested them. So this is uh, fresh garlic from my garden. the garlic don't get burnt because when it's burnt it stays uh, bitter So this, I'll add my uh, wild spinach that I got gathered from my garden. Vegetables is uh, wild spinach cooked very fast. 
So I'm basically going to just get it down and then done. Add a little um, black pepper. And then salt. Okay, and stir. It's almost cooked. I like to put uh, more oil. So I think uh, if it's too dry, put a little more oil. I don't mind uh, putting um, more oil because this is extra virgin olive oil. It's supposed to be good for my body. So basically like this, see? It's cooked, it's cooked very fast. Yummy! See how it wilts down, but it's still a lot. I think it's like two cups. Okay, I'm gonna have some now for supper. Lunch is last supper, and then some for tomorrow. Ooh, 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 it's so yummy, guys. Let me taste it. Guys. Mmm. Man. It's so delicious, guys. It has like a uh, sweetness to it, a little sweet sweetness. I mean, very, very little, but it's so good. Like I said, for me, this wild peanuts taste better than the um, regular peanuts that I buy from the store. Okay, done. Yummy. Finished. It took me a... Um, I think two minutes and it's all done. So, I'm gonna dish it out and go eat my lunch slash dinner because I, uh, <laughs> I was so busy and um, didn't have to eat lunch so this is my lunch slash dinner. Look. Oh, so yummy. Wow. See how much uh, garlic I put in there? <laughs> I use a lot of, I cook with a lot of garlic because I like garlic. And that's the reason why I garden garlic. Oh, so yummy, guys. This vegetables, this vegetable is free too, right? <laughs> God gave it to me. <laughs> it's nature. It voluntarily uh, grew in my garden, so oh, I love it. I enjoy them every year. There you go. So this is my vegetable for. Uh, this evening all right I hope uh, you guys like my uh, wild spinach recipe thank you very much for watching I'll see you soon bye bye